Hi, I'm Ryan Curtin. And I'm Daisy McGlitch. And I will be doing a monologue from Tennessee Williams, The Glass Menagerie, and then a scene from Neil LaBute's The Shape of Things. You know, you, well, you, you're very different. Surprisingly different from anyone else that I know. Do you mind me saying that? I, look, I mean it in a nice way. You, you make me feel sort of, uh, like, I don't know how to put it, but, you know, I'm usually very good at expressing things, but uh, this is something that I don't know how to say. Has anyone ever told you that you were pretty? Oh, you are, you are in, in a very different way from anyone else. Yeah, and all the nicer because of the difference too. God, I wish that you were my sister. I would teach you to have some confidence in yourself. The, the different people, yeah, they're not like other people, but, but being different, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Because, because the other people, they're not such wonderful people and they are a hundred times a thousand and you, you're one times one. And they walk all over the earth and you just stay here. They are common as weeds and you, you're blue roses. Bye. Yeah, well, I, I didn't really have anything else to do. Plus, I can't show my face in the streets, so it seemed logical. Look, Adam, don't, I'm... Don't look at me right now, okay? Or I'm not going to make it through this. Uh, you can just refer to me as it or, or untitled. You know, help me keep a little perspective here. Some piece of data, all the shit, isn't it? Doesn't it? matter, you can do what you want. You're finished. You're finished? Wow. You know, most people just say, hey, sorry, I can't marry you. And they do it in private. Yeah, okay, that might have been a bit too far. <laughs> Evelyn, you are so beyond far at this point. You're in danger of hitting Uranus. I mean, the planet. <laughs> See? You're still funny. <laughs> just stop. All right, just, I was never funny or, or good looking or clever. I was nothing until you started dicking around with me. All right, I admit it. Look, I was nothing, no thing. But you know what? I was absolutely fine with that. Listen, I know that my work relied on me not telling you what was going on. Uh, here in a small town, we just call it lying. Yes, I did lie to you, yes. Yeah, just a little. I'm a very straightforward person. I had to say that, sorry. You're sorry. Wow, I really thought I was gonna have to work to get that one out. I'm not sorry for what I did, Adam. I'm just sorry that you're so upset. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I even thought you could handle it, and that's why I invited you here tonight. Yeah, yeah, just me and 200 of my closest friends. You don't have friends, Adam, okay? You gave up the ones I've known you to have, and you gave them up pretty easily. Oh, jeez. Hey, you know, don't hold back, please. No, call it exactly how you see just it. trying to keep this as truthful as possible. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be different. Ugh, you're so angry. Evelyn, what do you want me to say? You messed with my life, okay? You put it under fucking glass. What, that might make anyone a touch cross. What did I do wrong? Seriously, <sighs> tell me, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Screw you. You have a lot. I think that there's a tape over there if you want to watch. Oh, you are seriously fucked up. Yeah. I mean, yeah, well, tell me from your perspective. No, no, okay, no, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna give you some last little thrill. Okay, fuck that. Oh, what's in your mouth, Adam? You never used to talk like that. You're gonna take credit for that too, huh? No, no, you learned that all on your own. You guys always have potty mouths. I think it makes them cuter. Yeah, well, you, uh, do you tell me how cute you think this one is? Fuck you, you heartless cunt.